Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the error that says the server did not register with DCOM within the required timeout. So this is signaling that one or more of your distributed component object model software is failing to register itself within a reasonable period. So this is going to be hopefully a pretty straightforward tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the start menu by left clicking on the start button one time. You want to proceed to type in services. Best match should come back with services right above desktop app. Just want to left click on that one time. And now you want to go down to get to the function discovery resource publication. Right here. You want to double click on it. And now that you've double clicked on it, you want to again be on the general tab. You want to set it startup type to automatic delayed start. And then left click on apply and OK to save the change. I would suggest restarting your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Again, hopefully that's worked for you guys. If not, I'm going to close out of here. And now we're going to go open up the start menu. Just left click on the start button one time. Type in Windows Update. Best match to come back with Windows Update Settings or check for updates. We want to just go to Windows Update Settings. We can pretty much navigate around in the Settings menu as well. It doesn't really matter. But we want to go and left click on Advanced Options right here. So underneath Advanced Options, there should be a section that says Choose How Updates Are Installed. So if we scroll down here, and then we want to left click on Delivery Optimization. You want to uncheck or unfill in the circle that says Allow Downloads from Other PCs. So if it's turned on, just toggle this to the Off position. Once you're done doing that, again close out of here. We we'll just restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. If it has not, another thing we can try would be to open up the start menu, type in Troubleshoot. Best match to come back with Troubleshoot right above System Settings. You want to left click on that one time. And now you want to scroll down underneath Find and Fix Other Problems. You want to go down to you find the Windows Store apps. So select that. Troubleshoot problems that may prevent Windows Store apps from working properly. Left click on Run the Troubleshooter. So give it a second to run here. Okay, so it might ask you to sign up with a Microsoft account. If we just select next here, it might ask you to reset an app. So it gives you a little advice so you'd open up apps and features and do what it says right here. We're just going to select next here just so we can get through the diagnosing feature just so I can show you guys what the end result looks like. So again, I would suggest as you're going through the prompts, you do what it suggests and hopefully that would fix it as well. Now, if that still does not work, and then I would recommend restarting. And again, if that still doesn't work, one other thing we can try, we're going to open up the start menu, type in component services, best match to come back with component services right above desktop app. Left click on that one time. And we're just going to wait for the screen to open up here. You want to expand the component services section, either double click or left click on the lower arrow next to it. And then you want to just left click on the computers folder right here. Now on the right side there should be something that says my computer. Right click on it and then left click on properties. So now that we're in this properties window, you want to left click on the default properties tab. And you want to uncheck the box where it says enable distributed com on this computer. So I just want to put this out here that this will disable distributed com through the component services. So this will disable communication with component hosts and on other computers. So this could affect software that's installed on your computer, but basically all Windows-based computers are initially configured to enable this. So it really might not have a beneficial effect on your computer by having it enabled, so you're welcome to re-enable it later and just see how your computer reacts to it. So like I'm going to just basically uncheck it right here, and then I'm going to left click on Apply and OK. You might get a notice here saying you're about to modify machine-wide DCOM settings, which will affect all the applications on this machine. 
and if done applications may not work correctly as a result, update the comm settings. I'm going to left click on yes. Feel free to check more inside this box again if you want to re-enable it. Again, you can see why this is the last thing I did in this tutorial. And you're welcome to try system restores and system resets as well after all this, but I feel like I gave you guys enough suggestions here to hopefully get you started and hopefully pointed in the right direction. So as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.